It's very exciting news for myself um, as a British driver. Um, I'll be entering with Carlin Motorsport, um, arguably the first British team in IndyCar history. Uh, it fills me with a lot of joy. Uh, it's put a lot of hard work in from many, many people um, from around the team and other places to get this uh, to be able to be possible. Um, I've raced for Carlin so many times before um, and I always drive my best when I'm with Carlin. So it's, uh, it's, it gives me great pride and joy knowing that I'll be able to race with them in the 2018 uh, IndyCar Series, also in the Indianapolis 500 in May. So fingers crossed we have a good, good month of May. Carlin uh, Motorsport, I have a lot to thank for. Um, I had my first ever a uh, race win with them in British Formula 3 back in 2009 when Daniel Ricciardo was my teammate. Uh, we both shared an uh, equal number of uh, pole positions um, and he actually shared the same number of uh, wins as well but he, he beat me in the championship um, we had a great year that year um, and I went on to uh, race with them in GP2 for two years and having my best year in GP2 as well in 2012 finishing fourth in the championship. So I finished fourth with them in British Formula 3, fourth with them in uh, GP2. I've done lots of testing for them when they started their GP3 team um, and then I did a lot of their testing for the Indy Lights team. That was all it was meant to be but I ended up doing the full season with uh, Indy Lights and Carlin apart from missing a couple of races for the Le Mans race in 2015. And uh, we, had, we had a win at Iowa, uh, my first ever, ever and only American victory so far. So hopefully we can get some more next year. Um, and it's great to be uh, with a team which has that energy to get their first, first win as well. So it'll be an amazing event and day when we first get that win. Carlin Motorsports' uh, journey to America and to the Verizon IndyCar Series is very similar to mine. Uh, we both came over here in early 2015 and started testing. They had never seen an oval, I had never seen an oval. Uh, we, we had a lot, a lot to learn, but um, we ended up getting the first uh, win of the season with Ed Jones in, in, um, in Florida and we just sort of excelled from there. We nearly won the championship the first year, won it the second year. I went on to do IndyCar with Chip Ganassi in my, in my second year in America and was there for two years. And so I feel like I've learned a lot now and I'm gonna be bringing that over to Carlin, which haven't done IndyCar yet and they've got a lot to learn in that series. But um, the good thing for me, which gives me a lot of excitement uh, and, and joy is uh, Carlin is a team which really excels in a one-make series. And I think it's hard to disagree that uh, IndyCar next year is going to be uh, is going to be far from a, a, a one-make series. Everyone's basically got the same machinery apart from the engines, um, so it's going to be as nearest to a one-make series that uh, IndyCar has ever seen before. And uh, I think this is where Carlin excels. So I can't wait. So my first two years in the IndyCar series with with Chip Ganassi and uh, Arthur J Gallagher, um, who are going to be my sponsor as well for this year. Um, we're a big partnership uh, with Gallagher. Um, they're from Chicago. Uh, they love the Indy 500. They all came last year and watched me nearly win it. Uh, I led it for 50 laps and uh, led it all the way up to lap 196 and uh, finished fourth. So uh, I think they're now hooked. They had never done much motorsport before. Um, and so it's great to have them on board. Um, hopefully I can get my first win for them and the team and, and myself. So really looking forward to that. Um, I learned a lot with Chip Ganassi, um, obviously coming into it I'd only done Indy Lights and there was a lot for me to learn. Fortunately I was surrounded by Tony Kanaan, uh, Dario Franchitti, Scott Dix and even Charlie Kimball. The, the, the amount of years combined between them is, is truly quite scary and the amount of championships and Indianapolis 500 wins they had. So I was in a great position to learn um, and I think that paid off this year in the 500. Uh, we, we had a car which could have won um, and I think maybe with my inexperience we just sort of lost out towards the end but uh, it's, it's proved to myself that I can do it and hopefully uh, 2018 is the year to do that. It's great for me to be working with Gallagher again. Um, they're based in Chicago, they're a worldwide business employing thousands and tens of thousands of people. Um, and we've learned a lot the last couple of years to get working together. And I, I think we can really sort of push on that partnership for the 2018 season. Um, they're new to working with Carlin, but Carlin are great with looking after the sponsors. Um, and my relationship with Gallagher now is quite similar to my one with Carlin. I know a lot of the people there now 
they're a, they're a very big international business, but they're still family run. And I've got to know the family well. They all came to the 500 last year. They'd never been to the 500 before and they absolutely loved it. So it's great to have their excitement and passion um, carry on to, into a new goal of mine. So it's very exciting working with Carlin and Gallagher next year. They're both um, international uh, teams and businesses. Gallagher is worldwide um, and it's great for us to be coming into the championship with Carlin, which is a British team, but is, is as international as Gallagher. Uh, we race in, uh, I think, seven or eight different championships now. We have over 22 cars racing. Uh, it's a huge corporation, just like Gallagher. And so um, even though they're from two completely different worlds of business, motorsport and insurance, um, it's still a team, it's still uh, organising a huge amount of people and getting the most amount out of your workforce um, and uh, it's still, they're still sort of that family business and feel to them so it's great for them to come together and excel and hopefully we can take over North America. It's great to be working with Chevrolet again in the 2018 season. Um, I worked with them in my rookie season in 2016. Um, I really enjoyed the team um, and a lot of their personnel actually come over from the UK. I used to share a number of flights with them um, forward and backwards. So I've got that slightly British feel with Chevrolet. Um, I did really enjoy working with Honda as well. I think they're both fantastic, but um, you know, with British team as Carlin coming in and uh, Chevrolet having their sort of part base in the UK. I think that's it's great to be back on board with them. Um, as I said before, I think the 2018 season is going to be as more competitive than ever. It's basically a one-make series now with only the difference being the engines and I think they've really closed that gap now between the two so hopefully Chevrolet can give us the slightly upper hand um, and it's great to be working with Fastone again. They always give us fantastic tyres. Um, I only used their wet tyre once, I've done one lap around Watkins Glen on them. Um, fortunately North America is always pretty dry but they always give us a good tyre and the, you know, we've, the Indianapolis 500 has never run on a different tyre and I think that speaks volumes. Hey.